Hey, uh, YouTube people. Uh, Horror Freak here. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Uh, normally I'm doing horror stuff, but I figured I would do a little video on my Michael Jackson collection. I'm a really big fan of his. Uh, you know, of course. Uh, I'm really sad that he died. You know, I don't... I'm not a particular believer of all the you know all the child molestation charges and the the weirdness I don't think he was a weird weirdo I you know I think he was a really kind hearted person and was very uh you know went through a lot of crap when he was here so anyway I'm going to do a video of my my uh, Michael Jackson stuff that I have uh so yeah <laughs> first I'll start off with my CDs oh wait a minute hold on Okay, so of course we got Off the Wall, you know, 79 solo album, you know, really good record, really disco y and funky, you know, it's a good album, just like all of his records, so I mean, then we've got Thriller here, of course, the classic, you know, biggest selling album of all time, Thriller. I don't have a cover for it because, uh, I put it on my wall a long time ago, and then I, don't, I took it down, and I don't know where it went, so I don't have the picture for it anymore. Same with Bad here. This is my this is my personal favorite uh, album by Michael Jackson. I just love this album so much. I have the poster. You can see the poster right there. Being bad. Who's bad? Ha! <laughs> anyway. Uh... And here's my Dangerous CD. I don't have... Okay, I basically cut up this, the covers to all these movies and put... I mean, albums and put them on my wall. But, but uh, yeah, here's the Dangerous the dangerous album. It's probably my second favorite record behind Bad just because I really love the way it sounds and I love... You know, it's a great record. And then here we have Double Disc History. The album he did in 95 after... Uh, after Dangerous and after the first wave of the child molestation charges. This album, he's kind of more, you know, angry and pissed off on this record because of what was going on. A lot of the songs talk about it, like Scream and uh, DS and Money and Tabloid Junkie. You know, a lot of these songs really, they speak uh, speak up about about the, the uh, you know, all the abuse he was going through with the tabloids and the charges and whatnot but uh it's a good record he's more you know angry like i said and everything but it's a little different it's a little interest it's more you know it's interesting and you know scream that's an amazing song and the video is amazing him and janet you know doing their thing together i think that's really cool you know uh i think it's it's a good record it's i i personally don't think it's as good as dangerous or bad or thriller it's not to me it's definitely not one of his best records but if you're an MJ fan or whatever, you know, it's still totally worth getting. So, and then I have the, you know, what I consider an EP of Blood on the Dance Floor. I don't have the cover for that. Same reason as all the other ones. Uh, the five songs that are originals, you know, are pretty good. Blood on the Dance Floor is a fun song, you know. You know, interesting lyrics. Morphine, I don't really care for it too much. It's all right, though. Superfly Sister, I don't really care for that one either, to be quite honest. But I love Ghost and I love Is It Scary. Those are great. You know, kind of creepy. Kind of thriller. Uh, kind of going back to thriller a little bit on those. I like those a lot. And then it has a bunch of remixes. You can't really read them here. But, you know, Too Bad, Refuge You Can't Mix, and Stranger in Moscow, Tease in House Mix, or whatever. Uh, you know, I don't really care for... I'm not a remix guy. I don't really care for remixes very much. So... But the five the five original songs are pretty good. It's worth picking up, I'd say. Just well, anything is from MJ. I don't have a I don't have a physical copy of uh, Invincible Invincible anymore because I gave it to a friend for his birthday. But uh, yeah, I have that record. It's on my computer. Uh, it's pretty good. It's not as I don't think it's as good as his other stuff. But it's it's decent. It's got some great. It's got a couple really great songs like Speechless and of course uh, You Rock My World. You know that was a pretty fun, uh, you know gangster type video. 
You know, I mean old school gangster. And then of course now I have Michael. This album. I really don't like this album very much, to be quite honest. Um, the p painting's cool. So, you know, Hold My Hand was the first single from it, and it has so much Akon in it. It shouldn't, it should be Akon featuring M Michael Jackson, you know. It, uh, and then the other songs, I don't know, they j they're just not up to Michael quality. They're not very good. I I'm sorry, I really don't care for it. And then, of course, there's the three songs, which I personally do believe were not, that the vocals were not recorded by Michael Jackson, which are Monster... Keep your head up and uh, breaking news. That to me that those just not do not sound like Michael at all. They sound like they sound like that Im that one guy that Jason whatever his name is the imitator dude. I don't like that you know. And personally, most of the songs on this I just don't think are good. You know, hold my hands decent. Uh, best of joys all right. I can't make it another day. That's a pretty good song. I like it. Behind the Mask, I like that too. Much Too Soon's alright, but really this record just isn't up to par with Michael's other stuff. You know. So anyway, I was actually gonna, just going to show off. I didn't mean to review on this, but whatever. Anyway. Uh, I have the the Live on the Dangerous Tour record, or I mean DVD. Uh, this is a good concert. It's, it's pr real good quality. Uh, it's him when he was at, you know, on the early part of the Dangerous Tour, it's really good. It's definitely, if you want to see what Michael was like, kind of in his prime, uh, then it's a definite pickup. It's really good. You know, it doesn't have any, like, inserts or anything, but it's got the disc, and it's kind of cool. Uh, it's a good concert. Oops. It's a good concert. It's, I got it for, like, ten bucks. You can get it at, like, Walmart, or, you know, Walmart for, like, ten bucks. It's a good deal. Uh... It's a pretty, it's a, it's an interesting show. It's, it's good. It's worth it. You know, I watched it on a big screen. It was great. So, yeah. Uh, and then I have my shirt. I actually got this for Christmas just yesterday. Uh, and it's got him in the, in the. I'm pretty sure that's the Billy Jean video. Yeah, Billy Jean video. A nice little shot of him. That's pretty cool. I have another T-shirt of his somewhere. I don't know where it's at right now. But uh, yeah. And then I've got my. My bad poster with some of the pictures from the history booklet up there. You can, they're pretty far away. You can't really see them, but they're up there. And then, oh, and I have This Is It also. I don't know where that's at, though. And then I've got this poster also. It's all right. And then I have some more pictures. And then there's a the little, the outer sleeve of the, the This Is It DVD. That was a good show as well. It's pretty interesting to see what could have been with the, the This Is It concert. It's kind of sad that those didn't actually get to take place. So anyway... This is my collection. I want to get some more posters and pictures and uh, DVDs. And I really want to check out that uh, Michael Jackson's vision, even though it doesn't have the complete version of Ghosts, which is kind of sad. But and it's not as goodly remas remastered as it says. But that's what it's whatever. You know, I still want to get it. It's only like thirty bucks. That's a good deal for almost all of his videos. I think that's definitely worth thirty bucks. So I'm gonna get that for sure sometime. So yeah. Uh, that's about it. Peace.